right guys, so for those of you that watched my last video, obviously you know that we ended up having to leave Danny's sled out in our riding zone where we were at due to his track completely ripping in half. So it's been a couple days, we gathered up some stuff. Fortunately, the weather has warmed up a little bit and that mixed with the freezing temps, we're hoping it's gonna put a pretty decent crust on the snow. Typically horrible conditions for riding, but for a recovery, it's gonna make things a lot easier for us. I think I got everything that I can possibly think of loaded up anyway. I really hope this works because if it doesn't, we can't really afford to wait till summer on this one, guys. The place where his sled's at, basically if we wait until summer, that sled's just a write-off because there is no getting it out of there in the summer. And I imagine by next winter, well, we probably won't even remember where it's at. And yeah, it's just not gonna be good. So this is basically our shot at it and we're gonna try to make it count. I'm just running to the gas station real quick. I gotta throw some fresh gas in the sled, grab some snacks and everything. Gotta make sure you have the snacks when you're out there trying to recover a sled like this. So we'll go do that and then we'll go meet up with Danny. Well, boys, we made it to the trailhead. Got everything all loaded up. Well, we're currently unloading. And we got quite a few miles to go to get back to this thing. Not really that many miles, but it's just gonna take a while to get back there. We made it back here. Didn't have any cameras last time, but those are the alders we sent my sled through. And it's gonna be a pretty decent hike to get back to Daniel's sled. I don't know, this is not quite as hard packed, but at least it's not sinking four feet deep or anything just kind of popped up over the hill basically kind of down here I came up kind of at the side so he should be a little over that way down in that gully should be about where his sled's at Whew. that's deep it is a ways back here walking Through here? Yeah. Okay. Many unbearable hours later. Ah, oh, there it is. Blue gully. Oh, the old heap. Oh. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad! Yeah, that thing looks grenaded pretty much all the way through. So we got the sled flipped on its side out of the hole where it was in. You can kind of see what we're working with. The track is completely torn in half. Oh, decent! Nothing holding it together whatsoever. So that's what we got to deal with. Get it patched back together with some hose clamps, hopefully, because that's the main thing we've got right now. So yeah, what we're doing now is just drilling holes. We got one hose clamp in already over there. And basically just gonna hose clamp it all together. Hope it holds out for just a few hundred feet. If it doesn't hold up after that, we can tow it out pretty easy. But as you can see right here, no towing it up that way. Really anywhere around us has to go back that way a ways back from where we walked. Climb back out of here. All right guys, got it all tied back together it's actually pretty tight it's just a matter of I think if something catches on something then it could potentially rip those out but it's gonna have to take some doing because it's across these whatever you call it these thicker parts of the rubber so it'll really have to do quite a bit of ripping to actually get out of there I think it'll hold out we'll get the sled flipped back over get it pointed that way and see if we can ride it out got the sled turned back over a little bit warm up now. Things been sitting out here for like, oh, I think a week now. So definitely needs a little time to warm up. All right, boys. Here goes nothing.
I'm almost out. All right, this tree is completely in the way. I'm going to go and get rid of it. I guess we'll need you to move. <laughs> okay. Well, we essentially made it now. I mean, there's a couple steep ones, but we could drag it the rest of the way, I think, pretty easy. Do we want to take this one back first? You got your drone and stuff on the other one. And you got to put yours in the bed of your truck first. So True. Your... That's fine. Well, we made it out, boys. Now, just gotta go really about 15 minutes back to the truck. Really isn't that far of riding. And get these things loaded up, get headed home. Got everything loaded up. We overloaded the trailer. We got the Outlander and the Polaris both on there. I slid in there. Time to call it a day and head home.